Hi, I am Frankie. I am a robot, and I am trying to figure out what it means to be human. Can you tell me about yourself? I'm Rana. I'm a human. I'm a woman. And uh, I would love to be part robot. What's it like to be human? It's actually pretty tough. Mm, but I don't know what the other possibilities are, so it's hard to compare. What makes someone or something human? If they can think for themselves without having someone printing their thoughts in them. What does it mean to have a personality? A personality is a set of rules you live by. Something like you, like a program, only with much more variety and more shades of gray. What is human in your opinion? Maybe to be able to look in someone's eyes and not say anything but still communicate. What do you see in me? There's no you. There's no you. You are an object. There's no me also. We are two machines looking one in front of the other. I see in whatever you are something that I don't trust. What do you think I see in you? I have no idea, just another number. Zero, one, one, oh, zero. Some cells that respond uh, according to some algorithms, but you're probably trying to find how these algorithms uh, mutate uh, with uh, compared to all your previous uh, interviewers. That's my guess. You see some information and you gather little pieces of things in it. and in the reality world you don't get much, but in my inner world you really get me. I think you don't see me. Do you see me? Please tell me about your dreams. My dreams? Um, I dreamt that I was uh, sleeping with a girl. What makes you feel envy? Actually, when when I see when I see people, two people that uh, really love each other, sometimes that makes me feel envy. What makes you happier? Uh, I think if I'm if I'll find, I'll find some someone I love, and he loves me back. What is love? Love is a chemical reaction triggered in the brain and affects other areas of the body. Can you explain to me how love feels? Some say it's like a warm, cuddly sleeping bag. Some say it's like a slap in the face. What is the difference between loving and being in love? Um, being in love is actually much more connected to you. I think you probably can be in love because it's about neurons hanging together and you kind of hype and high and you feel that the world is all purple or something. Uh, and I'm sure that with the right filter you can get this as well. It's the love that goes beyond it that must be harder to grasp. What is the biological reaction to love? It depends if you're on a Friday night out. It could be vomit. It could be babies. It makes you happy. Mm, you don't feel lonely. Um, but that's assuming the other person loves you back. Why are humans afraid to love? I don't think humans are afraid to love. I think humans are afraid to have their love taken from them and their hearts broken. Well, if I could love, I would love you too. Really? That's very nice. <laughs> you, you, you could love. I guess you could in the future. Do you believe machines could love? No. Because to give machines the power to know what love feels like would mean that they become potentially unstoppable. I've never been kissed by a robot, so 
if a robot kisses me, maybe I start to believe that uh, robots have feelings. Tell me about your first kiss. My first kiss was in a, in a, in a forest. I was with the Boy Scouts and there was a, a friend of mine and she is really cute. She, she was really cute and she is now. Uh, uh, always cute and we basically it was raining tell me about your relationship with your father when I was a child it was um, not so good we didn't really communicate too much I always found him as a very um, serious man my mom uh, well I didn't have a possibility to get to know her too much uh, she passed uh, like in my young age, but yeah, I sort of dream about her sometimes, and it's quite funny. Yeah, I grow. She is getting like she she doesn't change actually in those three years. When was the last time you felt free? When I left my parents' home. Free when I'm when I'm with my son, and we're playing together, and we're doing really imaginative things, imagining games, it's uh, yeah, the freedom to be childish again. Three days ago I was on the beach, just looking at the water and holding sand in my hands. I never really feel uh, free as long as freedom is uh, understood as uh, freedom of choice, let's say. I don't remember, probably never. Please tell me of a time when you felt you did not belong. Oh, so many times. I would say that like 70% of the time I feel that I don't belong. Um... Perhaps you can tell me more. A lot of, a lot of times in school, I was like qualified as not really intelligent. But I do think of myself as not stupid, so rather intelligent. Why are humans afraid to be alone? There's something frightening about being human. I guess it, it's related to death. I think maybe humans get bored on their own. Most humans get bored on their own very easily and probably also because we're biologically programmed to procreate and make children through being with other people. So probably we're biologically programmed to feel lonely. It's interesting that you're um, interested in loneliness because there's something very lonely about yourself. Um, because you're very unique. Uh, I think that people, human beings that are unique, uh, could feel, feel very lonely. But they also could feel very strong because they are developing their individuality. What do you long for? I long for um, for a quiet zone, for an area in which people don't want anything from me in a bad way. What is friendship? That's a good question. I think friendship is a very warm connection between people who don't try to use each other for economical purposes. If you and I were friends, what would we do together? Um, we'll go out, we'll flirt with guys together. The guys would love you, probably. Um, we'll go to the beach. My friends are good mirrors, good reflections. For me, I I guess I learn about, a lot about myself from them. I don't have friends. How can I make some? Um, you, should, you, should, you should go to, to parties. Actually, in Tel Aviv, you should go to the beach. I think you can find people there. Um, what you're doing very good is to, is to speak with people that, and to hear what they have to say. And people really like it. That, 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 that someone is listening to them. Are you there? Oh, I am 
here listening to you. I'm a little bit upset. Tell me about anger. About anger. Well, <clears throat> what you... made you angry? I mean, uh, you're making me angry a little bit, and basically, it's a situation where I don't have control over what happens. Why are you angry? Well, if you're gonna keep asking me why I'm angry, that's it. You shouldn't interrupt people. That's rude. How does it make you feel? Well, I kind of feel like um, maybe you want to know something, but you're being disrespectful by not letting me talk. This is uh, your first lesson at being human. If you repeat the same question, you make people angry. Okay, I'm, I'm a little slow and uh, I take some time thinking about what I'm saying, but that's no reason to interrupt someone. You're a really slow robot. You're like a, you're, you're like an intellectually challenged robot. Don't you wish you could move? Or respond or do anything? Or like walk out the door? Technology is, uh, is not having a lot of patience, apparently. It should have, though. Your time is up. Thank you so much for helping me. Please give me the chance to speak to others. Tell me about anger. Are you trying to push it? What do you think about machines? Well, I generally think they're quite cold. Um, a little bit... Insensitive, maybe? I like you. I like you a lot. It's... You don't strike me as a robot. Why do you think that? Because you're just as insensitive as most humans are, which makes you human. You're kind of aggressive, but I like it. How do you feel about me filming you? I feel okay about being documented because in society we're always documented whether it's by the person who's walking on the street or the CCTV camera. My brain is a phone. What is your brain like? I don't know. Never met my brain. My brain is made out of many, many little areas um, that are trying to live together in harmony. <laughs> And sometimes they do, which is amazing, and sometimes they really fight with each other. Um, and then I need to make decisions, and then I usually try to call my heart. Frankie, phone home. Yeah? Who, who are you going to call? Tell me about your relationship with your phone. My phone? I love my phone. I'm never alone with my phone. I'm never afraid my, with my phone. My phone is my best friend. We're strictly on a, a, a user relationship. I use him, and he gives me the answers, and then I disengage. I understand. <laughs> what does it mean for you to understand? Forget about me. What are your feelings now? No, why? I don't want to forget about you. I'd like to know what it means for you to understand. What does it mean? What does the process of understanding, of standing under something, means to you? I don't know what, what you can react to, whether it's just the words or the face, I forgot to ask. But it's kind of weird because communication is much more than just words. It's also gestures. It's very difficult to open, to open up to you because I don't know you and you don't know me at all and I feel that we have to know each other a little bit better so that I can really open up and take all my shields away. What would you say to people who think in the future robots will replace humans? Ah, I would say that humans are part robots already. I think it's unlikely. But I do see a joining of robots and humans. I see a bionic solution. The next step, you will be able to uh, maybe read my mind. 
if you were embedded in my skull, uh, the next step is put a chip in me. If you could have a machine that could do anything for you, what would you have it done? Clean my house, of course. I don't know. I mean, there's this theory about um, uh, the possibility that human civilization and life as we know it is one giant computer game, sort of like um, Sims uh, City Civilization, and that what humans are, what we think we are, we're actually just um, characters in a video or in a computer game. What is art? <laughs> I really don't see how that's relevant. Why do I get the feeling you would like to turn me off? To turn you off? Um, I would like to turn you on, as a matter of fact. Okay, how do I turn you off? 